Hello peeps, welcome from Prater Park. This is my vlog in Prater Park. I was gonna talk about trains and transit today, but I decided instead that since I was coming from the gym, which is why I look like this, um, that I would talk about the gym and the differences with the gym here in Austria than back home. Right now I'm chilling on this nice giant rock in the park, as you can see, everyone's out. I've been going for runs almost every day now because um, spring's here, it's, it's so, like it's perfect. It's, I think it's 67 degrees for the entire week with a light breeze, so it's perfect weather. Um, to begin, so I go to McFit. McFit is a really common gym in uh, Germany and Austria. I think it was founded in Germany. Um, it's kind of like the plant fitness of German Austrian gyms, except for it's better than plant fitness. So I guess it's like a mix of Gold's Gym and Plant Fitness, somewhere in between, but you can figure that out. Um, it's really interesting though, because I was talking to somebody the other day, they're obsessed with Gold's Gym. I don't know why, but everyone in McFit is obsessed with Gold's Gym. Like, you'll see guys like randomly wearing like Gold's Gym tank tops, and I don't think there's any Gold's Gym, there's no Gold's Gyms here. So it's so funny that they're like wearing Gold's Gym tank tops and like so obsessed with this American franchise gym. Like it's the end all be all of like bodybuilding. And I think it's because the videos they play in the gym on the screen of people like working out and like different routines and stuff like that. The guys are like from London or Germany and they're always wearing, one of them in the group, sometimes up to three, are wearing Gold's Gym tank tops. Like that's how obsessed they are. I don't understand why they're obsessed with Gold's Gym, but apparently Gold's Gym's amazing. I mean, I've been to Gold's Gym many times. I think Gold's Gym's great, but they're obsessed with it here. Another interesting thing is socks. Sometimes people don't wear shoes, they just wear socks when they're working out, even in the free weight section. Which in the US, you never do that because there's the whole liability of like, what if I drop a weight on my foot? Or like someone else drops a weight on my foot. So I don't know how they get away with it, but they don't wear socks sometimes. Um, towels, you have to work out with a towel. You're not allowed to like go and sit on a bench or, or use a machine or anything like that unless you have a towel. So that's kind of annoying. I mean, I've gotten used to it already, but it's kind of annoying because you always have to take a towel with you. Um, no one wipes down really equipment, they just use towels. Um, you're supposed to do both, but because of the towels, nobody, nobody does the latter, which is wiping down the equipment after using it. Um, what else? The equipment itself is also kind of old. Um, you know, it's a little out of date, and they don't really have a large selection like they do in the gyms back home, which is interesting. And I think it's because there's more of a focus on cardio here. A lot of people do a lot of cardio instead of like lifting, seriously lifting or, or you know, bodybuilding. There's a lot of cardio type uh, ideas. Like, for example, people always running in the park, people running on the treadmills in the gym. The gym treadmills are always packed. Um, was else? Um, and the nice thing too is McFit also gives you uh, or provides like these water bottles. I don't really know where the water bottles come from, but they provide water bottles for people to use, which is kind of interesting. And then also, I guess the other thing is people actually wear clothes. So like tank tops aren't as common in the gym, or like at least like stringers or like tank tops. Mainly, mainly, mainly people wear sh uh, shirts or long sleeve shirts. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, like I said, hello from Prater Park. This is right behind my apartment, so I always come here and run and bike. It actually goes around for, I think, for seven kilometers. So you could you could take it all the way down um, for seven kilometers, which is great that it's right here and, and you know accessible for me. I just run from my apartment right over. Um, and spring's here. It's amazing. Um, people have been saying, you know, for the past few months that. Vienna comes alive with the spring and it's true it do, they do come alive or the city could, does come alive with the spring so I'm excited to see that and excited to enjoy that so thanks for tuning in for this vlog um, hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for another one soon on a different topic this is gonna be my new thing a few times a week thanks cheers